morning guys i am setting up to do my treatment i just finished um breakfast <coughs> i am soaking up the sun today because the next four days we have a chance of rain so i'm like you have got to be kidding me the last couple days i'm here we have a chance of rain every single day and um i really really hope it does we have like an 80 percent chance of rain tomorrow I'm hoping it will push off until the evening because we're supposed to go to the um, Tampa Zoo tomorrow. And, um, yeah, so hopefully that will just, like, go away. <laughs> just go away. Um, but today is supposed to be beautiful and sunny, so today is going to be all out soaking up the sun, um, sitting out by the lake. See if I can find the alligator. I haven't seen him since a while, like a week now. Um, and, uh probably go for a roma cheetah i might i'll probably wait to go for a run um till later tonight when it cools off a bit because right right now it's in like the 80s and it's just gonna be too hot to to run uh i noticed that when it's hot i breathe better but i also run at energy faster so it's this weird balance um so i'll probably wait till like five six o'clock tonight to run with her um but yeah getting ready to get on my treatment and um just gonna enjoy today and enjoy the sunshine. Um, thankfully, the preliminary forecast for the 11th here in Arkansas and in Nevada is sunny. So hopefully that forecast will hold up and I won't have to take off in um, less than ideal conditions like I did in Memphis all the way here. Um, but we'll see. So gonna get my treatment out of the way and I'll see you guys in a little while. Hey guys, so I just came out to the lake. Um, don't see the alligator. I'm gonna walk around the perimeter and see if I see him, but I haven't seen him in like a week, week and a half. I assume he's still in there. I don't know, at some point they remove him if they get too big, but I don't think they would have done that. I don't think he's that big yet. Lake's still pretty low though, but it's a gorgeous day. Um, a little hot, but not horrible. And, um, yeah, I'm just gonna soak up the sun and enjoy the afternoon. <clears throat> yeah, he's not over here either, so he's gotta be like either in the water somewhere or somewhere around the perimeter. I saw him over on that end of it one day. Sometimes you can see fish from the bridge. I'll see if I can see anything and if you guys can see anything. There's this little tiny... Oh yeah, oh they aren't even that tiny. Can you guys see those fish down there? Those are bigger than the ones I normally see, actually. Yeah, I think you can see them. <coughs> those are actually pretty big. They're right down there, all those right there. are pretty big fish, actually. Oh, there's some real big ones out there. Can you guys see that? You guys see that one in the deep water right there? That's pretty cool. I've never seen the real big ones before. There's a real big one down there. I don't know if you guys can see him or not. But uh, you can see all these little ones over here in the shallows. Pretty cool. Bigger one just came up into the shallows, so I think you guys can see him better now. That's like one of the biggest fish I've ever seen out here. I, I think it's a catfish because it's got like whiskers, but I am not a fish expert, so don't quote me on that. But that's a pretty big one. I've never seen one that big out here before. I think they're all swimming over to the other side. Yeah, usually I see like, even these guys are pretty big for what I see. Normally I see the little, little tiny minnow type ones. And those out there. Yeah, they look like they have whiskers. They might be little catfish. I don't know. There's one doing circles. If you see that place where it's lighter, there's one doing circles over there. I don't know why. Um, I think he went to the other side, but that's pretty awesome. I think this is really cool. I'm really glad I came out here. I was just going to sit, but I might actually just stand on the bridge and watch the fish. All right, I retract what I said about them being big. Check out this guy. Check that out, guys. 
he's hiding in the... That is insane! That is so cool. I'm gonna get a picture of him. He's hiding in the moss over there. That's so awesome. <clears throat> There's a heron drinking out of the water over here. I think I spooked him. Trying not to scare him off. I find it funny how they stand on one leg. Pretty bird. Hey guys, so it's about six o'clock and I just came out to do a run with Cheetah. Um, kind of forced myself off the couch. I really wasn't feeling like getting out, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, so I'm probably gonna use today as a push run counting the fact that one, I do better in Florida um, and I'm heading home soon, and two, the weather forecast the next couple of days, I'm not sure if I'll even be able to run again after today. So I wanna use today as a push run um, and see what I can get done. Maybe it'll be a mile, maybe I'll be able to go over a mile. Uh, I don't know, these days are always kind of fun because you just never know. Sometimes, you know, I could do a mile on my last push run and then do quarter mile today it's just whatever I have in me on that particular day so we'll see how it goes hey guys so I just came in from my run and I did a half mile um, but I did that half mile without stopping which was a success for me because I think the last time I did that was like in February I don't really have a way to look at the last time I didn't stop because it just records my total run and I always pause it when I'm not running but I think that was sometime in February. Um, I ran that half mile in like six and a half minutes. My average speed was uh, almost five miles an hour. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think the half mile is good for my energy level today. I don't think a mile would have, I think a mile would have been too much. Um, but I wanted to challenge myself beyond the normal half mile. So I decided to do it without stopping. So I'm very happy with that. And I may try to just build on that rather than distance for now. Just keep trying to do consistent half miles without stopping until that becomes like easy and then work on distance um because you know i want to get that 5k so i want to get to that 3.1 or 3.2 or whatever it is mile marker but i think right now i need to work on my my stamina in a different way um so just consistently do half miles without stopping until i'm not like i am tonight where i was like <laughs> by the time i was done um so that may be the plan going forward i don't know i'll figure it out um, but I'm happy with what I got done, especially since I really didn't even feel like getting up and going running. I had to force myself out of the chair. Um, so I call it a win. Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight. Um, I'm just going to be winding down for the evening. I'll probably end up watching the Wizards of Waverly Place movie tonight. Uh, it's on Netflix and that has always been one of my favorite Disney movies. So I got really excited when I saw that on Netflix. So I might watch that. Um, but just gonna kind of wind down for the evening, get my treatment out of the way, um, eat dinner and all that normal <laughs> stuff. Um, I want to say hi and thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, thank you guys for coming on this journey of life with me. Uh, all of you guys, new and old, I really appreciate it because without you guys, I'd just be a weird person talking to my phone, you know? <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.